Salsa Group, and he will uh, tell you everything you need to know about a dupe, including extensive discussion of the hands-on material. Thank you. So, um, let me put it. Okay. Um, good morning or good afternoon to everyone. Um, today I'm going to give a, a hands-on section on Hadoop Map Reduce. Um, here is the outline of today's section. Uh, as there is lots of similar topics on counter energy like map reduce, I'm not going to talk much about that, but I will give a brief introduction about what map reduce is. Then I will pay more focus on Hadoop Workcount and Hadoop Brass as demoed. And then um, we will come up to a Q&A section finally. So. Uh, in case you guys don't know much about MapReduce, so uh, I point out I share one very interesting slide from our group members, uh, Saria. He made the story of Tom using a different way to describe what MapReduce is. If you guys are interested, you can just take a look at this link. So when we talk about the uh, MapReduce, uh, most likely, we will also talk functional programming because this is the basic idea of the MapReduce. So, map functional programming uh, actually have two very important concepts, the map phrase and the flow phrase, uh, and also can known as reduce phrase. First, uh, we have a list of the elements and we want to apply some function on it and transform to another style of output. So we run it parallelly in the math phrase. Then we generate something uh, as an intermediate uh, stages and take it as the input of the flow phrase, which also applying some function, maybe the same or different function, and name it as G. And then also to generate some output similar to the what the math rate does, but we add one more accumulator as the uh, initial stage of the flow phrase uh, in order to get one single uh, result. So the mac reduce model in practice actually for the same style as the functional programming language. Actually, we will implement, user need to implement two interface, also called map and reduce. First of all, the map will take a list of the element and as its initial key and value pairs, then generate something I just mentioned before is the intermediate uh, list made, uh, and then take, put, pass it to the reduce um, phrase, then generate a final result. For more details of how the map will probably do is um, it first take the list of elements and then uh, split it into key and values pair. Then each key and parallel will pass to a, to a set of map function, which we want to do some computation of this key and values pair into an individual output data um, other format. So we may name this, we probably name this as intermediate output of the entire map reduce process. So after that, after the entire phrase of the map uh, phrase done, those intermediate value uh, we'll probably send to the reducer, and then the same uh, probably will the reducer will take all the elements with the same key into some final result with this uh, same uh, the same key will generate same final values with that result. So actually, uh, the previous slide have three uh, four mapper. Uh, it doesn't mean that the mapper only take four input, rather than that it will take one, one or more input and then generate 
to different uh, key emulator pair. Also, in the uh, reduce fact, the reducer will only take one output key value. Uh, we will take maybe one or more output key value, and then in order to generate uh, the final result. So, uh, to think about the uh, parallelism, um, the uh, PRSI, as I mentioned, is they will run it in parallel with different intermediate, uh, in different input data, and then generate different intermediate values, and then pass it to the reducer, and also run in parallel. Um, so it can make all the values run and process independently, and we can utilize the uh, the cluster on machine uh, with the uh, full uh, performance. So another thing I want to mention here is about uh, the math phrase is won't start until all the um, the reduce phrase won't start. Sorry, uh, we uh, we will not start until all the math phrase is finished. So this is might be a bonnet, but in practice, actually, um, whenever a map a mapper finish is uh, process, it will first transmit some data to the output and ready to go once after the last output of the map uh, phrase is done. Um, so today, hands on probably focused on the uh, a project Hadoop, which is an uh, open source map reduce framework and widely used by the uh, uh, academic and commercial uh, commercial company such as Amazon, eBay and Facebook and even and the Yahoo actually is the first founder of an uh, invent this um, uh, technology and right now it is under the Apache license. Also there are right now a lot of people involved in this project and make this uh, make this firmware keep update and also, uh, the uh, official group of the Apache <coughs> has a lot of sub-projects to support this framework, like Hadoop file system, which is the uh, distributed system support Hadoop to run it with high throughput access, <coughs> and quick Latin, like can uh, higher level language which support the MapReduce framework. The idea of the Map reduce framework works is first you uh, you use the uh, the user generate uh, user program with the Hadoop framework with some setting and configuration. Then the uh, user program as Hadoop framework will involve some uh, some node and some process to handle the entire process automatically. Um, first, it will enroll a master which will communicate with uh, the other workers which will handle the actual job. Um, the master will first first assign some already split uh, data to some workers in the cluster. Then the, uh, whenever the rascal receives there is a job they have to done, they will grab the uh, the data from the Hadoop file system or local file system and then process it and generate an intermediate intermediate uh, key and values pair then pass it through to the reduce phrase which is uh, there is some reducer will get that intermediate uh, data and generate final output. So the most important part of this framework is that there is only one single master as the center to control the entire progress. And the user, uh, I mean the programmer, we don't need to take care much about how the data is flowing inside the Hadoop framework. Um, and we just need to focus on what computation we want to finish and uh, let the Hadoop framework to help us to finish the entire process. So there's some features about the map reduce in the uh, Apache Hadoop. Uh, the, the Hadoop framework will help us to do the 
parallelization uh, automatically and also can help us to distribute the data with using a uh, Hadoop file system. Also, as we uh, as maybe some nodes will go to a failure, and the uh, Hadoop framework of the master will take care uh, of the full tolerance, which means that whenever some node dies, uh, the master will know that and will assign to a new uh, new uh, to the existing mapper to finish it, or just output a partially result of the entire process. It may happen sometimes because um, whenever a key value pair always fail, the uh, master probably will just ignore that key value pair in order to get results and we don't stop in the middle and without any output. Also, the uh, Hadoop, file system, Hadoop framework provided uh, state monitoring tools to monitor the process during you are running a job in the Hadoop. So, the first demo is the Hadoop work count. Um, it is, can also con consider as the hard work in uh, other programming language. The reason we want to introduce this Hadoop work count because it fits well with the uh, MapReduce model. Uh, the idea of the work count program First, uh, actually, we just want to uh, count the occurrence of each work in a given set of files. So, during the process, each file may be split and may not be split because of the file size, um, and pass it to the mapper to run it in parallel. And also, as we run it in parallel, we need to collect those results to a single final result which needs a reduced phrase to collect them. So actually, that's if we want to implement a, a work count program, we need to write three main parts. The first part uh, probably is the mapper, which uh, is the main competition part of the entire process. And the reducer actually just collect those uh, already computed key and values and then combine them together and then to get a final result. And the driver means the main program to set up the Hadoop uh, configuration pack and then let the program to run it. Uh, we might skip the driver because this is already online and then you guys can go to the uh, tutorial website to look, and look into it. So here is the details of uh, how the webcam program works. First, the input is a bunch of files which contain some text inside as content. Then the, we pass it to the Hadoop framework. Um, we pass it to the Hadoop framework and then Hadoop will do some multiplication based on the files we given. If the files is larger than the default block size, it will split it to different chunk. Or if the file size is just smaller than the uh, default block size, it will just uh, pass the files to different mappers. Depends on the files location. So the mapper actually just count. Uh, to, to just count the works appears in the in the in the in the files with uh, key and p values as w uh, the values as one. The key is the works appears in the files. Then it will pass it back to the Hadoop framework to do a suffering suffering stage, which sorting the uh, key and value pair, uh, which are going to assign to a reducer. But for our Slide here, we just have one key value pair. So it probably won't slot them, sort them, sorting them because um, this is only just one key and value pair. And then finally is the reduce test, which map all the same key together into a final value. The pseudocode 